thank God so far. It has not been easy, but I thank God that I've come to this place at this particular moment I've achieved. It is a very great achievement in my life and also in my community because as far as I'm concerned in our local area, I have not seen anybody like me or uh, because I'm, I'm one of a kind in this, that area. So I'm the only one like this and I have managed to reach this particular place and at this particular moment. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful because the journey of my life has been so difficult just to, to visit uh, at least. When we look back, uh, been, uh, there are some days I spent at the children's home. There are some days I had to spend in, on the streets. In the children's home, I was spending my days there because I had nowhere to go and uh, nobody was really willing to welcome me. Why don't you have parents or guardians? Yes, I had, I, had, I had parents. My father had passed away. And my mom actually, she, because she had nothing to do and the pressure from the society regarding my being the way I am, so she had to take me there, to stay there. So I did my education there. And sometimes also, after coming from there, life has not been easy. But I thank God that I've made it up to this place. I qualified, to jo I qualified for Starry Boys Center but I was not able to join because I had nobody to stand in for me to go there. So I just had to continue my education at the children's home and partly at a secondary school in Kayole called the Kayole Twilight. I, but basically most of my life I did in, in the children's home. Is it where you start your KCC examination? That's why I start for my KCC exam and on my class 8 too. What, what did you score in KCC? I scored a total marks of 441 marks out of 500. This is yes. 441 out of 500. I was supposed to join Kistare, but I never joined because of the financial constraints. Nobody was there to support me. So I just chose to continue my life at the children's home. Okay. Yeah, at some point I left and went to Twilight Secondary School in Kayole. I uh, did my two years there, then I also, then I, I went again back to the children's home, yes. I left Twilight because I had nobody to, uh, I had, there was someone who actually volunteered to support. And I had to leave the children's home because also life for the children's home is not easy. So, but when you don't have any other option, when somebody offers to help you, then you say, let me go. Because sometimes you can refuse, then uh, you, get, you, get, you go and meet problems there. Then that person will say, I told you to come, you refused. So I had to, to join that person in Kayole. I stayed with him for two years, but later on, that person left. So I had nowhere to go. We were four in a house. I was with my cousin. I was with some two friends from the same school. So that person was supporting me directly, but abruptly stopped. Yeah. Never explained. I never saw him. <laughs> so I just went back. I just went and pleaded with the owner of the home. Then he told me, yeah, we can, you can just come back, no problem. Then now I gave myself there, then How completed. Was high, school? high school was. Are the children something special? Life is never easy, but uh, I was mainly focusing on education. Yes, challenges were there. No, no, there's no place which is comfortable, but I had to persevere because I was looking for education. So you start your KCSE here at, at the children's, at the children's school? Mm, yes. What did you score? I scored a C+. Plus. A C+. Plus. Yes. So that's a minimum university entry grade, eh? Yes. So were you able to join a high uh, university, a college, or a post? Uh, no, I was, I was not able to join. Because of fee, I guess. Because of school fees. Okay. Nobody was there to stand in for me. That's when my uncle in Dar es Salaam called me and told me, come visit me, that was, he feared the post-2007 post-election violence. So he told me, come over to Dar es Salaam before the results came out. So when it just came out, he told me, what did you score? Then I said a C plus. So he asked me, can you join a university or a college? Then I said, yes, I can join. But because it was a C plus, then that, is, that definitely qualified me for parallel. That was very expensive. So he advised me 
to join form 5 and 6. I joined there in Dar es Salaam. I, I learned for two years and then I qualified again to join university in Dar es Salaam, which I did not complete. Yes. You joined university? Yes, which I didn't. That is uh, to many to my to many university. To many university. It's in Dar es Salaam. It is in Dar es Salaam. For how long were you there? How long I was there for two years. I was I was doing uh, business administration, bachelor. Yeah. Yes. So because of the financial constraints again, they were tired of me promising them. Every time I'll I'll pay I'll pay I'll pay I'll th until two years and the balance was now huge. So I decided to drop. I had no option. So I came back to Kenya. I qualified to join the University of Glamorgan in Wales. Your form six, form six. Yes, because I I failed to join University of Glamorgan in UK in Wales, so I decided to go to to many university in Dar es Salaam. Yes, but I was I was enrolled for the same course in uh, Wales. I, uh, when I came back to Kenya, we sat down with my mother, tried to reason together. Mom, I'm thinking of joining a medical school. I want to become a clinical medicine person as a clinical officer. She was very doubtful. She had nothing to say because she was asking me, do you have the money? I said, I don't have the money. And then who is, who is pushing you to go? And then nobody is pushing me to go. I said, I'm just, I just want to go. Then I said, watch me, I want to organize for fundraising. Then I will apply for a, for a college. So I tried KMTC. But uh, came to see Nairobi. I, try, I went there personally, looked for an opportunity. I never got. There was no money. They wanted hundred thousand. I don't know. That was for what? So you guys, had you, if you had all this money that you go into this institution, you're being asked for this university, this college. I could have. I could have been very far. You, the, you, 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 no, I could like, be very far. So many courses. So because my passion is in studying. Yeah. So if I had that money by that time, then I'd, I think today I'll be sitting in high tables with the presidents. Yes, I'll, I'll be maybe could be called for such occasions to grace, to speak to students. I could be somebody great in this country. Now, share with me about how college was, the ups and downs. Yeah, when I came to Kindu, after being referred by a friend who was also my teacher in high school, that is Mr. Robertus Muga. He told me that there is a mission school in Kindu Bay, he's hearing of, also he has never gone. So just told me his hearing of it is a good place. I, if I just go to Google and let Kindu Mission, it will come. So I Googled it there, then it came Kindu Mission Hospital. Then there was a phone number I called. That person was the former principal by then in 2000 and around four or five but he was already out of that this place so he was in uh, maxwell church as the officer in charge of uh, health yes so he directed me to this place but i had no scent i just believed that i'll be in class studying <laughs> so i organized for fundraising after i had 500 shillings my mom added me 1000 for registration which i went to pay at Shujamol KCB branch. That's for the account of the school. <laughs> so I paid. I I paid for that money there. The secretary emailed me admission letter because I could not come here and back again for me to access finances. So I tried to access different offices for these uh, prominent people in Kenya, but I could not access any. Everybody was just telling me, "No, you have to have an appointment. You can't see the." I even one day opted to go to the state house. I went up to the gates and I said, can I continue? Then I, I said, no, let me just go back. So you went to state house? I wanted to go to the state house. So I, I reached there, then I said, I reached there, around there, then I, I was in a border border. Then well, I, they dropped you there? I was in a border border, then I just told him to stop. I told him, now just stop. Let's go back. <laughs> Did he know you, are, you wanted to access state house? No. I just told him, let's go this way. I, I had, I didn't, I actually didn't, I didn't know eh, where the state house was personally. But I was hearing that the state house is somewhere there. In fact, that day, the president passed. I could have just told the president I just want to go to school. 
Yes. Because that, that is what can help me. Yes. I know in Kenya we have got different bodies which actually deal with these cases. But accessing, accessing those places is so difficult. We even have different people who have been nominated in our parliaments to help or to represent the needs of, the, of people with disabilities. But they talk politics. Wherever they go to interviews, the TV, they, 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 they just speak, they speak politics. They don't speak any matters with the disability. So what I would like the president, I would like the president to check into this so that these bodies do their work. We hear that there are funds which are being given every budget. Whenever budget is being allocated, there is some money given for people with disabilities. We're not asking for you to give us that money, but uh, even if you can just access that there is somebody with a disability having difficulty in paying school fees in a particular place. I had, there's someone also who sent me a text in, on Facebook and told me I have a, a son like you in Form 2 and uh, we have been trying to access this loan for people with disability for school fees but it has never worked now two years. Can you help me? Then I said, I don't know how to help. Myself I'm trying to access but I can't get. So actually there are people, I think people are working for their own interests in different places that, that, that they are put. It is high time that we should embrace, strengthen or empower these people with the disabilities because it is not that they, can, they cannot do anything, they can, if only they are given that chance to do it. College has been tough when I started. It has been very tough when I started. In fact, I, I told you I got for a fundraising, but it only gave, it, it only gave 15,000 it only gave 15,000 shillings, that fundraising which I organized. So I came with it, but the school fees in this place is so high. It's around 104,000 in first year, 96,000 in second year, 116,000 in third year, and plus other living costs. Let me say for you to stay here and you finish in three years, over 500,000. For me, I would like to thank so many people because Everybody who has played a part in my life, even if that person gave me one shilling, even if it is five shillings, even if it is just a word of encouragement, that person played a very important role. Are there people you've never forgotten about? I can't forget about so many people. There are so many people. And uh, first, uh, first and foremost, I would like to recognize Mr. Cohen from the U.S. He has been chipping in so much to help. Then. Actually, Cohen started pay, paying school fees whenever I reach him. When did he start? Like the first time you ever paid the school fees? In my first year, oh. second semester. Okay. I also would like to thank uh, Cohen works hand in hand with uh, somebody called Fred Afwai in Kitale. And also, I'd like to thank, uh, we have got uh, people from the US like uh, Susie and Ole, who comes from Kakamega. Yes, yes, so she came and she actually took me in as a, her son. You know, when you have a problem, you can't rely on one person all the time. Yes, you can't keep on coming to Dickens, 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 no. Dickens can get tired of you. So when you ask Dickens this time, tomorrow you ask this person. So actually, that's how my life has been. Also, there's someone called Peter Omocheto, he's also in the U.S. So they've been chipping in here and there. It was around, uh, let me say, third year fee. Yeah. It's about uh, 116,000. Cohen paid some. There were some people. There were some people also who said that I'm going to buy you lunch today. Let me buy you lunch today. Somebody will say, Let me buy you lunch today. Somebody will say, Let me, let me buy you supper today. Somebody says, Let me buy you uniform. So, and so many of them. But somebody, some, some. There are so many and I can't mention. There are so many people whom I cannot mention. Do you know how much you've made them proud? I know wherever they are, they, they must be very, very happy. Yes, I can't also forget, there's a, a doctor who normally comes here from Finland. Uh, she's called Dr. Paivi. She has also been helpful, especially when I, I would like to appreciate everybody who has played a part. Nothing, somebody, whatever anybody gave, However, however small to that person it was, or however big that person it was, it has helped me somewhere.
it has made me reach this far. And I, I still continue appreciating. And God should fill those places where those things came from. What are your future plans after graduating today? After graduating today, it is a, it is a routine for clinical officers council that we go for your internship. That's for one year. After that, you issued with your license, then you can now practice. Either you can be employed as a, as a clinical officer in either a government facility or in a private facility. But as for me, this is not the end. Just as people say, the end of one chapter is always the start of another chapter. Uh, as I said before, I'll, I'm aspiring to become a, a pediatrician. So I'll go ahead with learning when I have the opportunity to do so, when I have the support to do so, then I'll continue learning to, greater, to, to achieve greater heights in academics. I'm not planning to stop here because I'm planning to reach far. Uh, they say that once you're not like other people, you are disabled. But I say today that disability is in the mind. It is not in the physical appearance of a person. Once you believe that you cannot do it, then you are disabled, whether you are normal or not normal. So I only believe that when someone is able to do something, then get that drive to do it. But uh, just like uh, Jalango says, if you want to fail in life, eat at your mom's place, take a blank a mattress, then uh, put it, uh, take a, a duvet, a very heavy one, sleep there, then cover yourself. Then you'll be just be woken up, food is here by the bedside, just roll yourself, eat, and then go back. Yes, I have a fiancé. Let me say she's a fiancé. Okay, <laughs> I'm planning so. If God uh, blesses us, then uh, we are planning to get married. Uh, she's called Doreen. Yeah. Currently, she's taking uh, food and beverage production. She's studying at uh, ICS College in Nairobi. She's now in her first year, certificate level. We met back in school, that is at the children's home. We were always together at the orphanage. Yeah, but though she was younger than I was, yeah, so I was, uh, I was seeing her there grow. So when I was in college, I met her again, and they said, well, uh, can we move together? And then she accepted that we are moving together. What one thing or two things are special about her? The two things uh, that has, uh, okay, what is so special about Doreen is that she is one a lady who is very simple. She doesn't like big things. If you tell her I love you, that's enough for her. Whether you give her what you don't give her, that, is, that doesn't matter. And actually she has been very supportive. Even at times when I call on her, I tell her I don't have money to eat. If she has 100 bob, she sends. If she has 50, even if she has 50 bob, she will send it. Even if I will withdraw it at four, as 40 bob, yes. So she has given her life or herself to this relationship and she is ready to go with it. Yeah. She has not, li she has not listened to anybody. Mm. My mother also has been very supportive. Yeah. She is kind of a lady who will just uh, let you go. She will uh, let, ask you to, you want to do that? Yes, then do it. Yes. Mm. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Very well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We were studying with Dosea in Children's Home, Magodo Children's Home. We, we met, but we were not that close. So we met, I met Dosea afterwards, after he was done with, his, with school. I met him in face, Facebook, started communicating, and therefore I became his fiance. Yeah, he's a gentleman, he's a kind man. I love him more because he's always listening to what I say and he's, he's more than a gentleman. Wow. That's what I can say. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's I want to remind you that you are a charismatic person. You have a lot to achieve in life. And I want to assure you the same person that I knew back in 2007 shall continue to be the same person. You have a long way to go.
and I know you will uh, achieve the goals that you desire to achieve in life. I would like to con congratulate him for the great achievement. And uh, I would also like to appreciate the hard work that he had since uh, the beginning of this journey. I would also like to thank all who have supported him through all this. And uh, I would just like to continue encouraging him to work harder so that he can achieve more. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Thank you. Yeah. Steve, I've known him for quite some time. Eh? When I joined high school, where he used to school, he was the first person who put me to the school prefect body. Yeah. Okay. So he was a, an, an energetic person. No, no. He liked to be in debates. Sometimes he would give me tips that I should go and propose his motions. And that's where we came to know each other. For me, one thing is that he's such an encouragement to many people. It's not easy for the mileage that he has come. And that's why we had to travel all the way. It's not that we didn't have so much and other commitments, but I had to come and witness this because to us it's, it serves as a testimony to people and the likes of him. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ah.